Today, there was an urgent need for air traffic controllers affecting four major airports in New York, Newark, Philly, and D.C., and the ripple effects are still being felt coast to coast tonight. ABC's David Curley on that part of the story. When will air travel return to normal? Delays are still being felt tonight as jetliners stacked up because of the shutdown. Air traffic slowed, even stopped deliberately because of a shortage of unpaid controllers. American 970, I got a reroute for you. A full ground stop at LaGuardia. The drastic action taken by the FAA to keep the skies safe, resulting in flight cancellations and many of today's 3,400 delays. A canceled flight um, and then to a different airline, and now it's been delayed again. The cause? An increased controller call-out rate at two centers. At the Washington, D.C. area center, six of the 13 controllers scheduled, nearly half, called out. And they handle much of the traffic in and out of the New York area. The effects? Delayed flights rippling across the country tonight. With the end of the shutdown, controllers are relieved. The controllers that have been at work are tired. They're exhausted mentally, and, and, and they're ready uh, for some help. And David Curley with us live tonight from Reagan National Airport. And David, with the shutdown now ending, what are your sources telling you tonight about the coming days? How soon could air traffic controllers and the TSA be uh, fully staffed again? It should be rather immediate, David. This was the first day with that slight increase in call outs among controllers. And with TSA officers now getting checks, that call out rate should reduce to normal rather quickly. David? David Curley with us live tonight. David, thank you.